overlooking Bradford and the other Halifax, but you know, I was really interested in it for a very different reason. A little piece of pottery sent to me by a kind viewer, courtesy of Look North, a few years ago. Today's view takes us to a hillside between Halifax and Keithley. But you know, under these fields were two important commodities that made it so important in industrial history. Coal and clay, which is why the country's most famous local potter based his pottery here. Today's view is Soil Hill near Halifax. Long before plastic and metal became common commodities, on the surrounding bleak hillsides, more than a dozen potters made simple wares to sell to simple folk. Here, the most famous worked. He was Isaac Button. Now, I know this looks absolutely nothing to you, but, you know, to me, it's very precious, and I'm going to put it in its rightful place on the map. So tell me why this little pot is so important. It's simple pottery, but very usable pottery. And Isaac Button was the perfect workman. He was a one-man band in the end. He, he dug the coal, he dug the clay, he puddled it, he extruded it, he threw it, he fired it, and then he took it to market or, or wherever it was sold. He did everything. It's sad that all that remains of generations of country potters are a few pots given to a local museum and a derelict building where once a certain Isaac Button threw a thousand pots a day. But it's just in the middle of the countryside. There's, there's nothing, there's no industry there. The farms now have been used as residential properties. Um, the clay is not used for anything, the coal's not used for anything. But it's just there. Uh, sits looking down the valley, over the hills. It is lovely. Yeah,